y'all what's going on happy tuesday to y'all um just jumping on really really quickly um first and foremost to thank you all all of you who took advantage of my appreciation sale i thank y'all so much um thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all so much for that um but I'm jumping on just to, um, <laughs> first of all, thank y'all for the, um, comments on the last video. That video was very, um, open, honest, and personal for me. So I thank you all for just your, you know, your comments, your love, your support, the encouragement that you guys got out of my hair, okay, out of me being open and honest, um, which is what I try to do all the time with you guys anyways, um, but jumping on to encourage y'all about a few things, um, we always, we always say that we want change, um, and change is a part of our growing process. But with that change, it's not going to always feel good, but it will be worth it in the end. So, in order for change to happen, like I said before, um, change has to happen. Like with, excuse me, like with myself, when I wanted to walk, my mom knew change had to happen. So, therefore, it was time for surgeries. Time for operations, time for physical therapy, okay? She was not a fan of said physical therapy, okay? Um, physical therapy was very draining for me um, because I would go, like, right after school. So, it was school, then therapy, then home, then homework. But in order for my change to happen, I had to let the change happen, even with the pain, um, and you guys have to do that too. If you want change, you have to be willing to change as well as, um, being able to let some things go as well as, like I said before in previous videos, um, changing the way you think. And the Bible says, so a man think of, so is he. So if you're thinking this way of positive thinking and thinking about all of this change, um, you have to start first start here in your mind and then put the actions forth to make those changes. Also, um, I put up a quote and I said, uh, and I told you guys about it as well. And I said, um, exposure brings healing. And what are you willing to uncover to walk in your healing? I also wanted to kind of go back to that and say to you all, some people don't want you to expose what you're covering up because it's going to expose them. But I want to encourage you all to go through that process as um go through that process as well because we tend to grow and change and um we don't want to lose certain people with that growth and change. But um, with growing and changing, just like when the seasons change, things are going to fall off. Things are, are going to change. Um, people are going to change. Um, my friend Anita said something in her. Y'all really need to subscribe to her YouTube channel, okay? Y'all need to check her out. Y'all know. Y'all know I be learning from everybody. Y'all really need to check her out. But she also said that um, if a person is not attached to your purpose, they will fall off. And that also goes back to the Bible where it says separating the wheat from the terry. You, it has to get to a point in your life where... You're willing to separate where you're willing to grow, not wanting to be stagnant. And with that, you have to leave people, unfortunately, behind. And sometimes 
you know, people that we want to um, take with us are dead weight. And like I told y'all before, we be carrying all these bags and they be weighing us down. And that's people too. When those people fall off, let them fall off and continue to walk in your healing and in your purpose. Y'all know I always be making fun of Lot Wife because she, you know what I'm saying, she did that look back. When she was supposed to be looking for her, she did that look back. So think about if we continue each time to continue to look back and try to go back and grab everybody that God let us fall off. Instead of us going forward, we'll be going like 97 steps back. So with that being said, in order for y'all to receive y'all healing, in order, not y'all, us, me too, because I'm doing it now. You have to speak it. You have to give it a voice. Stop silencing your voice if it's something you need to heal. Heal from, speak it. Give it a name. Call it out for what it is. Stop sugarcoating it. Call that thing out until it no longer has a place in your life. Speak it over yourself. Speak healing over yourself. Go through the steps. Go through the changes. Whatever you have to do to get to where you've been praying to God about. Everybody's not going to understand that. Everybody's not going to root for you. And that is okay. Root for yourself. And know that you have the biggest cheerleader behind you, which is God. Um, with that being said, y'all, I'm going to end this. Be encouraged. Be motivated. Keep pressing. Keep praising. Keep fighting. Keep worshiping. Keep standing. The only limits that is in your way is the limits that you put in your way. Be blessed, y'all.